hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm horace and you're watching possible now so guys today i'm going to guide you about that how you can fix all crashes and errors in fortnite chapter 6 season 2 by applying these simple steps you can fix all kind of issues in your game so just watch the video till the end and if you're new in this channel kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video so guys first of all you need to uh, open your epic games launcher and here you need to go to your library and find your game like fortnite click on three dots and click to manage and here you need to first we need to verify our game files so simply click on verify and in case if your game files are corrupted and uh, or missing then this step will fix your issue so you just need to wait for it and uh, after the verification launch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and uh, if you still face the crashes then the second method is we need to delete the game config file so for this you need to open uh, press window key plus r and in the run dialog box you need to type here percentage local app data percentage again so here you need to click to ok and click to f fortnite game go to saved go to config folder go to windows client folder and here is the game user setting part you need to uh, create a backup of this file and then delete this file and this will reset uh, all your settings in your game so after that guys uh, launch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and uh, the next method is we need to update our graphics driver so open your GeForce experience and here you need to uh, for NVIDIA user first you need to go to your drivers tab and simply click on check for updates and it will automatically check for latest drivers in your system and for AMD user guys you can do the same step in your radon software and once it's done the next thing is we need to download and install the latest DirectX and visual files in your system so here is the folder open the dx folder first and uh, visit the official website of DirectX and install the download the uh, latest DirectX in your system open the setup accept the agreement click to next install the win bar it's optional so it's up to you click to next and wait for it maybe take some time so don't be worried and uh, after a few minutes it's done now click to finish get back and now move to the visual retribution folder visit the official website and download all the visual files in your system so here is the batch file open this batch file and it will automatically install all the visual files in your system so you just need to wait for it and click to yes click to ok and whether all these steps it will automatically perform it will take some time you just need to follow my lead and do the same step I applied you see on the video so with the back steps are complete now launch your game and see the problem is resolved or not and uh, the next method is we need to do here is delete the junk files in our system so for this you need to again press window key plus r and in the run dialog box we need to type here some commands like the first command is prefetch p r e f a t c h here is the first command uh, press ok click to continue control is select all and delete these files in your system skip the step one more command we use here is again press window key plus r and this time we type here percentage temp t e m b again percentage here is the second command press ok control a select all and delete these files also don't worry these all are like junk or bad files so simply delete these files from here first and once the files are deleted from here then you need to remove these files from the recycle bin also so here is the recycle bin delete these files also from here so guys that's it uh, now the next method is we need to uh, close some background application so for this you need to go to your search bar and in here you need to type settings 
go to your settings in here you need to go to your privacy section in general there are four options one two three four turn off all of them down below go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in your background now get back and move to the gaming section here and here you need to turn off some settings like the game bar turn it off capture setting turn it off and only uh, turn on the game mode uh, if you play your game on your low end system and uh, after that go to your graphic settings and here you need to add your game like simply you need to click on browse and uh, simply go to your fortnite installation folder and go to the uh, fortnite client win64 shipping file add this file it's already added uh, click your game click to option and here you need to set on high performance after that click on save and get back close it close the bar and now launch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and the last method guys is we need to free our cpu space from the task manager open your task manager and go to your performance tab and here you need to check your cpu space first in the processes tab here is my cpu memory so most of them uh, Fortnite is mostly based on your CPU so that's why we would need to remove unnecessary or background application that takes our CPU memory so just find these kind of applications that takes your CPU memory like uh, in my case here is the Pendicam I record uh, this video and uh, Google Chrome kind of Adobe Photoshop these kind of applications you need to turn it off simply right click on it and end task these kind of programs and once your cpu space is free now guys uh, you're ready to launch your game and check the problem is resolved or not and uh, that's it guys if you found this video helpful kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out